I have something a little bit different for you today, and that is Autor's new Laser Master 3. This has recently just been released, and I've been given the opportunity to review this, and I just couldn't pass it up. And I want to see how well this really works. So first, let me say thank you to madethebest.com who sent this to me. If you are looking to purchase one, the links are down in the description below, along with all the other accessories I have here today. So feel free to check them out. They have you covered from everything from laser engravers to 3D printers. Now I know there's videos already out and show you how to put this together, but I'm gonna try and skip over that and just give you a high level overview, as that is a video in itself. And I really wanna demo this and see how well it works. You know what you need to do if you are new here, hit the subscribe button, like and share with your friends and do comment down below and let me know what you think of this machine. And if you do like the video and you wanna say a little bit further than thanks, I do have the super thanks button or there are more details down in the description below. Let's take a look at what comes inside the box. So there is a lot that comes inside the box. So let me quickly show you and break down what there is. Uh, you have some cables over here that we're gonna connect up. You have some testing materials and some cable ties and a brush. So if you wanna brush anything off, you can do that. We have the air tube. We'll have a look at where that fits. You we have the four pieces to put it together. We have the laser that goes across here that probably sits on here. We have some tools. So there's some screws in here to put it together. If you're in the UK, you get a power adapter. So it doesn't come with a UK plug. So you probably need one of these. We have some belts. Wi-Fi antenna, the actual laser module itself. We have some air assist modules just here and we have some protective glasses. So these are quite important when you are using the laser. So let me go ahead and put this together and I'll probably break at some parts just to show you what I've done to give you the high level overview. So this first part is attaching all four sides together. This is actually fairly well built. It doesn't feel flimsy or unsturdy that it's gonna break or it's something is gonna happen to it but it is literally attaching these two long pieces to the two side pieces using the M4 screws, top and bottom. There's one cable that comes in from here that you need to feed in all the way through into the Y motor that goes just under here. And then once you've actually screwed on one side, you just roll this part in. So if I quickly turn this over, you can see that this now goes back and forth quite easily. So the next part is gonna be fitting these belts along here. Now this bit's quite easy and simple. There's, there's a screw that fits into here, which you basically strap the belt around and the other part is inside this little area here. So you just loop it through this little hole and you just loop it onto the back and then you tighten this screw. And you do the same on the other side. And then where the roller axis is, you can see that just slides straight into there. So now it's going across the belt as it goes across so it can control it. So the last few steps you need to do is adding in the relevant cables. So there's actually a slot in this bottom corner here where the cable goes into. This is this thick cable here. Now, one thing I've noticed is there's some cable tie slots here to keep this cable in place, but there doesn't seem to be anything to keep this in place. Um, there is a spare cable here, the YRR cable that's just here. I believe this is used when you're using a cylindrical rotary and the laser cable just goes straight into here. So there's an L slot here and there's one that goes into this axis as well. So I think that's all we need to do in terms of setting this up. And before I take this outside, let me tell you a little bit about the machine itself. It does up to 20,000 millimeters per minute. It has a lightweight 10 watt laser and the thing says it can cut out 20 millimeters of wood and 30 millimeters of acrylic. You can also get this set up within 10 minutes and get it going. It supports multiple different print options. That's Wi-Fi, USB, SD card, U-Disc, and even an AP hotspot link. It's equipped with a load of features, the emergency stop button, a key switch, and there's also tilt and fall protection as well. And finally, it claims to engrave over a thousand different materials. However, I only have a few to test today. Really looking forward to getting this set up, so let's take it outside. One thing I do recommend if you are doing this, do do it outside, do not do it indoors, make sure it's well ventilated because some of the smoke that will come out of here could be harmful to you. So do make sure you have the relevant extraction or you are out in the open where you are less in danger. Here is my laser machine set up outside now. So you can see the little mesh underneath. I would probably advise getting one of these so your surfaces underneath don't get damaged, but this is a really good tool to have when you are doing this. 
I currently have it set at 20,000 a minute and also it's set at 100% power for the laser. So this is just my little test run just to see how it works. But I'm going to quickly talk you through the app just so you're aware of how that works because I've done literally all of this from the app. So you need to download an app called Laser Explorer and then we're going to go to album. Um, I've already uploaded my logo to this, so I would advise you upload your logo. So this is on the app store. So go ahead and transfer your logo to an iPad or whatever you want to do. And then we go to recently added and you can see my logo and you just go ahead and click next. So what I'm going to do here is just adjust the size so we can get multiple logo iterations on this. And then just scale it to the right area where we want it to be. You go to configure at the bottom and now this is where you set everything up so you can see the mode is set to scan i've chosen plywood there's a list of materials that you can see that i've just shown on the screen here that you can choose from you choose the laser power this one is set to fifteen thousand, but we are going to do this one at twenty thousand. how many times you want it to pass the laser mode the direction and then we go back you go ahead and hit preview region and it goes off and shows you exactly where it's going to be. So let me quickly show you that. Once you're happy with this, you go ahead and press start. It'll ask you if you want uh, to make sure the laser is in focus. So you click checked. Once you do that, you click start at preview layout position. So it will go to the correct point. How many times you want it to pass? And then you go ahead and press start and then it's going to transfer the document to the SD card that you have. Now you can do this online as well if you want and it will keep connected to your iPad and it will do the image that way. I did get some intermittent issues with that one where it did drop off a couple of times so it's best to have an SD card inside it to keep it loaded in there. And then once you're happy it will come to this page and then you go ahead and press run and you'll see a preview of this now. Let me give you a closer look at some of the differences between the prints that I've done. So the differences are between here, we have 20,000 just down here, 15,000, 10,000, 5,000, 
and then 1000. I was going to go a little bit longer but this probably took over two hours to do and as you can see it's probably quite burnt on there so probably not the most optimal one but it's a case of playing around with the settings. Overall I think I'm fairly impressed with this laser. I do have another video soon which is going to show you a few more options in terms of what we can do with the laser and also I have the rotary to test as well. So there are a few more materials for me to test. So there's, that's gonna come in a part two. If you do wanna see it, remember hit the subscribe button and like, and do comment down below if there is something specific you want me to try, or you want to see. For now, this is Inside Wire, and I'll see you in the next one.